G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. In today's episode we're going to be having a look at the ureter. Um, this is of course the duct which carries the urine from the kidneys, uh, or the renal pelvis I suppose, down to the urinary bladder. Um, so let's start our three minutes. So one of the uh, features of the ureter is that um, it, it has this sort of uh, folded or star-shaped appearance to its lumen. And that's typical of an organ which has a very well-developed uh, muscularis layer. Uh, if we sort of zoom in, uh, the ureter, of course, is lined by a specialized type of epithelium known as urothelium or uh, urinary epithelium or transitional epithelium. It's made up of a stratified epithelium in which its cells are actually able to undergo a large amount of stretch. And so the surface cells here, they often described as being umbrella cells because they can open up like an umbrella. Um, they are very acidophilic. Um, it's because they have lots of uh, intramembranous folds which can sort of expand like a piano accordion so that they can almost appear squamous. So you can see sort of these expanded ones over on this side here. But um, when they're in the relaxed form, they form these dome-shaped cells known as umbrella cells. And between these umbrella cells, there are lots and lots of tight junctions. And that helps to keep a waterproof seal so that the urine which is being collected to the urinary bladder and passed to the urinary bladder um, isn't absorbed or passes through this epithelium at all. So two major features. One, it's a waterproof seal, and two, it's able to, to stretch to accommodate uh, increasing volume. Now, less important probably in the ureter, more important in the urinary bladder. So the ureter consists of a mucosa consisting of the transitional or urothelium, then an underlying layer of loose connective tissue, and then we've got a layer of um, several layers of smooth muscle, the muscularis. Now, uh, the urinary system has this unique arrangement in that it has an inner longitudinal layer. It's not very well represented in this uh, micro, this diagram here, but um, there's a little evidence here of a little um, longitudinal layer. Then we've got a circular layer, and if this was sort of more distally uh, taken, in this section was taken a little bit more distally, there would be an outermost longitudinal layer. So they have three uh, bands. And we can actually see that in this micrograph here. This is actually a micrograph taken from the Virtual Microscopy Database. And thank you very much to Michael Hirsch um, for, for uploading this image on the Virtual Microscopy Database. If we zoom in, um, you might be able to see here. So here we've got our inner longitudinal layer of uh, smooth muscle. We come out here, we've got a middle circular layer, and then we come out here again to the outermost, we've got another longitudinal layer. Again, these three layers are very um, particularly localized just close to the urinary bladder because the urinary bladder also has three layers of uh, smooth muscle in this similar arrangement. So if we go back to our, our original image here, uh, then external to that we actually have uh, connective tissue. There's lots of adipose tissue out on the outside here and there's a little bit of a serosa on the outside. You can see the simple squamous lining of the serosa. Well that's our three minutes. Hopefully you got a little bit out of uh, understanding of the normal structure and function of the, uh, the ureter. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Hooroo!